Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the four transformations. This is the second video on this topic, uh, so if you've not seen the first one yet, make sure you watch that as well. Uh, so skill number three then uh, is reflection. So I'm going to start by drawing I'll draw a triangle this time. Okay, uh, and let's say we want to reflect this in the line x equals zero. Uh, so the line x equals zero uh, means all of the x coordinates are zero. So it's just a straight line uh, going up through the x axes uh, at x equals zero and parallel to the y axes. Uh, but in this case, the line is the same as the y axes. Uh, so let's just label that x equals zero. Now, if we want to reflect this shape in the line x equals zero, uh, the easiest way to do that is to look at the corners of the shape. Uh, so in this case, that's here, here, and here. And we draw the same points on the opposite side of the line the same distance away. Uh, so here, you can see there's a distance of one square. So we'll go one square in the other direction. So that's our first point. And then I'll use a different color now. This point here is a distance of three squares away. So we'll go a distance of three squares in this direction. So that gives us our second point. And then this, this point here, the top is two squares away. So we'll go two squares in this direction and that's our final point. So if we redraw the triangle then over here, uh, you can see that it is perfectly reflected in this line x equals zero. So you can think of the line x equals zero as like a mirror. So the two shapes are now mirror images of each other. So the final transformation that we'll cover is enlargement. Uh, so let's draw a square here. Now when we do an enlargement, there are two things we need. The first is a center of enlargement. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to use the point negative four, negative four. Okay, so let's make a note of that. Uh, now we also need a scale factor to carry out the enlargement. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to use a scale factor of two. Now to do the enlargement, uh, we need to track the points. So we'll make a note of them uh, on the shape here. Now the first point we'll track is at the top left corner of the square. So let's draw a line from our center of enlargement to the top left corner of the square. Now what I mean by track the point uh, is we'll track how far we've traveled in each direction. So we've gone one across and three up. Uh, so if we do the same again, so if we extend that line going one across and three up, uh, this shows us where the point will now be. And then if we do the same for the other corner, so the bottom right this time, We've gone three across and one up. So if we carry on that line, go three across and one up, that shows us where the other corner will be. And now if we do the bottom left corner, we've gone one square up and one square across, sorry. Uh, so we do the same again, one up, one across. Uh, that point maps to there. And then finally, at the top right corner, if you can see, uh, we've gone three across and three up to get to there. Uh, so we go three across and three up and that shows us where the final point will be. Uh, so if we connect the dots, we'll use a different color here. You can see that this shape has been, been enlarged by a scale factor of two, about the point negative four, negative four. So if you'd like to get some more practice with transformations, uh, you can take our online exam. Uh, so this is available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find a number of different questions, a variety of different question types. So some will be multiple choice. Some will require you to just put an answer straight in there. Uh, so you get instant feedback on each and every question. So this will be really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you are weak at and you need to improve on. Uh, so if you're interested, you can click the link below. It'll take you straight there.